yeah, like the backlog, you're cho- picking and choosing the things that are important and then almost using those four quadrants. Oh, quadrant again. You love a quadrant, don't you, Joe? Love Hashtag a quadrant. quadrant. Yeah, you want to pick to up it, on the inside uh, joke, go back one episode in the archive, episode 204, inspirationation.org.uk. Yeah, and Leo is actually going, we need to do, it's a quadrant. It's going to be the most episode with the word quadrant in it. I like this a lot because actually one of the, one of the videos that we did, I, I, framed, I framed the video as in how to attack your big goals. And someone said, well, it doesn't talk about how you frame your big goals. So then I put on there, you've got to just do the small stuff. Like start off with the smallest action possible. And this is what I like about this is because, you know, those small snippets add up to those big wins. And this is the thing that I love to do. And if I think back and how, as an example for me on this, and thank you so much for Evie for asking what the live is on. It's actually about the backlog, backlog your life and prioritization. When I look back at, how this podcast was built and how we got to this stage. It just started with a one minute video every day. And it's like the, the dominoes start to fall, right? And the big thing of this is that we're now doing lives on YouTube. We've now got 200 and this is the 205th episode, isn't it? It is. I think 205th episode. episode. And this all came from the smallest of actions that you would just prioritize. You go, right, we're just going to do that. We're just going to, I'm just going to do a one minute video each day. And that compounded into this. And then Lee said, I'm just going to find out how to do a podcast. And it turned into, I don't know how long you researched to do the podcast, Lee, but you, you probably broke that down, I don't know, into some smaller chunks to sort of well, just spend an hour doing that and see what happened. And then it started to happen, right? Because the big thing was actually getting us on a podcast, right? Indeed. And you prioritized it. And I think you've been doing this, maybe you've just been more conscious about how you do it now. Yeah, I'm still, I'm very aware I had the thing. And again, there's different parts of life. And, and I use this kind of, these type of techniques in, in work that's where i've taken it from but that's not really what i'm talking about this is how i've then used it wider than that mm. that whole bit i talked about and what i did last year i say i'd, I'd consciously thought about this con- carving out time and little and often there wasn't a great point a bit like like ryan said this i had a load of things in my head to do but i didn't it was a bit haphazard if you like so i all mm. i was always doing stuff so i kind of for this year wanted to try and again you know we might get six months through the year and i've been this often it's not what i do and it doesn't always work for everyone but i'm doing it now and it's working for me so i thought i'd you know share it as a bit of inspiration is to take that to the ne- le- next level i'd plan it out a little bit and keep track so it ties in a bit like a journal and thing like you say joe so quite simply i sat down on and i've got it on my list here on the se- monday the second of january and I made two lists. In fact, I made one list first, which was in my head, what's everything I can think of that I want to do? And then of that, I then put a job in each work weekday for me. And all I need to do as in even the morning or the evening is carve out half an hour, an hour, whatever it is. It varies by day, depending on what's going on. But for me, and to set the wide context of those listening, so I work full time, I would say office job, home office job, but full time, Monday to Friday. Ryan can attest that it's a very part, fast paced environment in which you work and there isn't a lot of time to breathe. In fact, much like I'm doing with you guys, I'll probably spend five to six hours a day on various Zoom meetings and whatever else and then catching up on paperwork and stuff in between. I love it all. It's all good. The fast paced thing is what I like, but then this isn't like, oh, I just pot around all day and get a few things done. I'm working full time and then division labor in the household, I could have working out with my partner, I pick up a lot of the, the housework and stuff around it. So this is to show that you can carve out time when you've got a lot on. So again, only half an hour, an hour, Monday to Friday. And the reason for that is I keep the weekends free because that's where I get some downtime. I'm not, I'm not advocating the whole wake up at five, do nothing but be productive until 10 and fall asleep. And if you dare watch Netflix, you're wasting your life. I don't think you spend all your time watching Netflix on your friends' spectrum, but there is downtime, there is playing games, there is watching TV. And I leave the weekends completely free. Again, we might be, we're gonna get shopping or we're visiting family, or we might just wanna chill out, or there's lots of other stuff to do that isn't on the list. Or actually, I'm gonna use, I've got two hours free on Sunday. I'm gonna pick a couple of things off of the list into next week and work ahead and have that flexibility. But that's that's what works for me. It might be that you work night shifts and you carve out a little bit during the day. It might be you work weekends and you've got weekdays free. You, you know, there's no set pattern for this. It's what works for you. And that's how I've decided to divide it up but give myself that bit of flexibility. But for Jen, and so I, I then put them out to the days, kind of made myself a little list of the activities this would do by doing the little and often. 
And one of, I'm gonna tell you now, one of the things on my list is progress the book. So I'm currently writing an Inspiration Nation book. It will be out this year. People who are interested, keep an eye on what we're doing and it'll come out. But it's three or four of those days where an hour is spent doing that with the goal of progressing the book. So they all ball up and there's lots of other things where it, it, it balls up into something. So during January, working full time, housework and stuff and other stuff on top, time to chill and relax as well. We're currently re-watching all the Marvel movies at the moment, which is fantastic. Where are you up to? We are halfway through Thor 2 at the moment. Oh, you're making good progress then. Yeah, the second half will be this evening. Do you remember when you were doing it to me? Yes, yes I I do. (laughs) Absolutely I do. We repainted our bathroom and it wasn't just slapping some paint on the wall, repainted it and it's walls and wooden cladding that need to be repaired and taken care of. I think talk to you, Joe, change the light fixture, change the curtain for a screen. We did a did a big job on the bathroom to try and oversell it. Make sure planning for a wedding, which is happening this year, is on track. I have a wall here in front of me. You guys have seen it where I've put up my nerdy collection of stuff on the wall, which needed sorting out, framing, putting up. I love um, that, by the way. Progressed a book and I wanted to, the gate had broken in the garden. I wanted to fix that. So that was my January Which I, you know, for me, I feel like if I can do all of that in that month, I've done pretty good. And for the days, how many days is there in on my list for January? And I say the first day of the plan is planned January and the last day of the plan is planned February. So then I can roll into February and the last day of this month, for example, is then plan March. So some of these things are little, really small things Mm, when they make progress. Every Friday on my plan is upload all the podcast stuff. So that's all done. So I'm building this bits in as well as all the other activities. So 21 days and I fell short on three days. So three days I didn't do what I planned. But for the other 18 days, I did do what I planned. And other than fixing the gate, which is now done, it rolled over into February. I got everything done. So for me, that worked out. And I don't think I would have done all. And for example, with the bathroom, that then we took out a weekend to do it on top of what was here. But a lot of the prep work, so researching what I needed to do, buying the right tools, getting everything in, I got all that done during some of those hours, half hours in the week. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got it done in a weekend, for an example. So it, it worked well for me. It's a bit of an experiment. But then I've, say, I've then started to build up a list. So if I... What I do is I walk around and I think, oh, no, that needs doing. And then I might forget about it. And then two days later, I'd be like, oh, no, that needs doing. And it's, you know, there was a lot of, and it, I found it a bit stressful because in my head, I'd be in the middle of something. I think, oh, no, I've got to remember, I've got to do that as well. Now, any time I think, oh, I've got to do that, it goes on my list. That's it. It's done. It's on mm-hmm. the list. I don't need to think about it anymore because when I get to my day where I review the list, it's there and I can decide, am I going to do that in the next four weeks or is that going to push on? So there's a big de-stressing thing for me that, you know, Ryan, you like to talk about compartmentalising at all a lot. That works for me because now whenever I see these things, it's on the list. I don't have to worry. It's going to take yeah. care of itself I have because a plan it's for on it. my list. Yeah. Um, and I've got to say, I rolled into, I've got a plan for February some big jobs, some sort of the big one, and I've got them on the floor behind me. I've got a whole set of skirting boards for the downstairs, which in a little loft and away are all going to get put up in little chunks. One one morning this week, I set up a little workstation area outside so I can cut them all up, did the measurements, got them all unpacked, little fiddly bits, but that's an hour saved when I'd spend a bit more time doing it. So I'm kind of, and again, for me, beforehand, it would have been like, well, I'm not even going to get it started. What's the point? Whereas now... I've made some progress. I've got a start, and it'll it'll roll into getting done in bits during the month. We're yeah, halfway I'm... through the month. Sorry, Joe, did be to no, no. on. Yeah, we are for those. Obviously, with people alive, we're on the fifteenth of the month. It will be the seventeenth when this all gets uploaded. But fifteenth right now, and I've missed one day so far. But the reason I missed the day is we had a problem with our pets. And we had to take them to the vet. So that obviously is okay. Slotted mm. in because that is as happens with this urgence but i got to i moved stuff around and picked up a couple of extra things at the weekend where i've got that flex i built in and i'm I'm largely on track and actually i might not get everything done but if i get four or five or seven of eight or whatever it is or three or five that's still making that progress which i think joe comes back to that concept you've said about you know if you fall off the horse get back on again so all, time, all yeah. of these different devices are in my head as kind of metaphors and reinforcement and things which is just helping me be more productive as we like to say and for me like i said i haven't got that constant list because i have got the list but it's not floating in my head thinking i'm just going to keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it and i can look back yeah 
look back and be like, I did that, I did that, I did that, I did that. And for me personally, with what makes me tick, and we've talked enough for you guys to know what that is, it works really, really well for me. And it's an evolution. It's building on last year. It's bringing in different techniques. I like to say I'm a, a buffet learner in my style of how I do things. And I've pulled in lots of different elements and I'm making it work for me.